All right, hello everyone. I'm going to do something with the peppers that um, that I recently picked. So this right here is a mix of banana and jalapeno peppers, and um, I'm just gonna uh, do a regular vinegar brine with these and um, pickle these together. And with some of these I will pickle some of these as well and I also want to make some um, cowboy candy uh, with some of these I wanted to attempt to make uh, some hot sauce um, I don't have a lot of red peppers and the more red peppers you have um, the better chance you would have like that red signature red hot sauce so um this is a mix of habanero ghost pepper cayenne pepper and tabasco pepper so i will imagine that this blend right here is going to be very very hot and uh, it might make me maybe a small amount of hot sauce but i don't believe that it's going to have that signature red um look to it because most of these are green so stay tuned so I have lots of uh, mostly jalapenos because I picked mostly of all of my banana peppers last week but I do have some um, banana peppers that um, that I can um, pick off as well so I'm gonna pick those and then um, try to make some um, pickle peppers and a pepper sauce. These are the Tabasco peppers, so I will be um, harvesting some off of here, and, and there are some that's orange. I have some more banana peppers. that can be harvested and I have some nice big size jalapeno peppers that needs to be harvested as well a couple of cayenne peppers So I have um, most of my jalapenos cut up so I'm going to um, get started on cutting up the banana peppers next. Then we're going to pack these in a jar and make a quick um, vinegar brine. Alright so I have the few um, banana peppers cut up here. So after I'm done with the banana peppers, I'm going to give all of these another rinse and that just to rinse off some of the, the seeds and also I do save some of these seeds as well but um, since I have all of these peppers mixed in together, uh, I won't be saving these seeds because I won't be able to distinguish which ones are the uh, jalapeno seeds and which ones that are the banana pepper seeds. So maybe the next batch that I do like the all um, jalapenos then I will be saving some of those seeds. I've already um, have some of these banana pepper seeds saved and I will show you guys that as well. But first I'm going to give these another rinse and pack these inside of the jars. Alright, so I have a quart sized mason jar. And I'm going to pack in 
the peppers in here. So I'm not going to <clears throat> I'm not going to can this. And this is just gonna be some refrigerator um, pickled peppers, and I am gonna put a hot brine in here. So, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna grab some and <clears throat> just simply uh, put it in here. And if you guys are curious of knowing what I like to use these for. We love to use these um, in salads, on uh, sandwiches, and even when I make a little fried chicken, I like to pop some of these open and um, sprinkle these on my plate and just munch on them with um, like some fried chicken or something like that. Alright, so I'm going to get that nice and stuff <clears throat> okay so that's about all that I can fit in this jar <clears throat> it was only just a little bit left so what I can do is just slice up some more jalapenos and um do another jar but that's basically it with the packing so now it's time to make the brine all right so i have in a medium saucepan i have three cups of white distilled vinegar and also to three cups of water you also want to add in about three tablespoons of pickling salt or canning salt and also three tablespoons of sugar <clears throat> and also uh, this is optional you don't have to do this but I like to um, add in uh, some seasonings <clears throat> I like to add in some uh, crushed red pepper also onion powder and garlic powder as well so I let this come to a boil and then um, I will pour it right over into my peppers. I had to do a voiceover on this clip. I'm not for sure what happened. Uh, my phone was starting to act up and this clip doesn't have any sound and I was explaining like my next steps and everything. So basically I'm just showing you guys that I have the peppers packed in my jars and I have the brine is ready and I'm going to um, pour the brine um, inside of each jar and basically from there um, I explain that you can can like water bath can this if you like and um, you don't have to water bath Candace if you don't want to. You can simply uh, clean your rims off, put your um, lid and um, band on and wait for this to cool off. And you can place this right in your refrigerator. But of course, if you water bath can it, um, you'll have to, um, you know, follow those processes for water bath canning clean your rims off put on your lid and band and for quart size jars you would maybe process these for about uh, 15 minutes and the pint size jar 10 minutes and also you have to do this according to your altitude of where you live but um, that was basically it on this clip and also, um, I right after this clip, I did the hot sauce and I did the cowboy candy. And the whole time, none of that recorded. All right, <clears throat> so um, this is the finished product of all the peppers that I picked. So, um, 
I have the whole jalapenos here and this these two jars are the um, jalapeno and bananas banana peppers mixed together this here is the um, cowboy candy and I was so upset that um, that my camera wasn't well it was recording when I was doing the um, videos and the process of this but for some reason it didn't um, save and it wasn't there at all so I will come back and do another video on how I did my candied um, jalapeno peppers or aka uh, cowboy um, candy and I will also show you guys um, what I will be um, eating this on as well so this is the cowboy um, candy and I was able to make two bottles of hot sauce with the remaining peppers that I had so um, these two bottles are they have habanero peppers cayenne peppers tabasco peppers and ghost peppers and also the footage for the hot sauce um, because I did the cowboy candy and the hot sauce um, on the same video clip nothing saved or anything so um, once I have another pepper harvest to do um, some more cowboy candy and um, homemade hot sauce then I will definitely do another video on that so my apologies on that uh, just some technical issues um, on that end so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I thank you guys for tuning back in and watching and see uh, what's going on in the garden and also what can be made from the fruits of your labor from the garden. So I hope you guys return back for another video. Stay tuned and I will see you guys on the next one. You have a very blessed and great day and God bless.